Hello, HQTs. Have you ever dreamed of speaking another language? No, Cockney doesn't count. For those hoping to one day be fluent at French, Italian, maybe Mandarin, a report says after the age of 10, our brains can't learn languages like they used to. But I think you got this. I've got faith in you. Now, we had a record breaking game earlier today, and we are inching closer to 200,000 players. You do not want to miss that milestone. When it happens, it's going to be soon. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your learning and earning guide, and this is HQ Trivia, where what's in your head can win you that bread. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap the answer. You get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, and you win or you split the cash. Tonight Tonight we are giving away a book smart 550 pounds that will get you a flight to whichever country you choose to immerse yourself in its culture for years or the easier option a language learning app but before you speak it you've got to reap it and remember you can swipe right to hide the chat here we go q1 what's the name of the galaxy that contains our solar system milky way dairy milk milky bar all sounding quite delicious to me. Three iconic chocolate bars, but which one went galactic with its name? The Milky Bar Kid is strong and tough, but he's still just a speck in the Milky Way. Milky Way is your winning answer, 167,461 if you found the right way on that one. For any vegans feeling left out, there's plenty of space next door in the dairy-free Andromeda Galaxy. Q2, Katie Price married which singer in 2005? Bob Dylan, Peter Andre, David Hasselhoff. Katie Price, aka Jordan, of course. Now it seemed like a match made in reality heaven, but who was Jordan's mysterious man, Mr. Ozzy Abs himself? It was Peter Andre for the win here on Q2. Yes, it was. 159,360 of you are turning up here on Q2. The relationship began on ITV's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. It was ended with a similar phrase in 2009. All right, pump up the volume, because it's shout out time. Hello to Mike and Luke, the Loader Boys, and Sophie at Soul Train Radio. Hello to Chris Tyson and our Exeter fans. Hey guys, Henry Bushell and the Judd lads. Hi to Callum, Hannah G and Isabel. Are you guys studying hard? I hope so. Taylor Swift, AKA Tickle Cake and Lee, Donna, Dan and Michelle in Teesside. Good luck to all of you players. Get focused, it's Q3. Which movie had the working title each sold separately? The Lego movie, Toy Story, Cars. Not the most inspiring or exciting title. Each sold separately, huh? Three merchandising masterstrokes, but which one began as each sold separately to Disneyland and beyond? It's Toy Story, everybody's favorite movie. And that was a toughie, we lost 50% of you here on Q3. 73,830 of you are not playing around though, you're not toying around. It was the first fully CGI movie and the highest grossing film of 1995. Woody and Buzz heavy saintly 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, very impressive. Q4, which of the following cities inspired the fictional locations used in the Lord of the Rings books? Birmingham, Bath, Belfast, fantastic books. But what city inspired them? Peter Jackson saw New Zealand when reading the books. Tolkien saw a very different landscape when writing them, taking the M6 straight to Mordor. It was Birmingham. Birmingham for the win here on this savage question. Utterly savage Q4. We lost 65,000 of you. 10,430 of you still in this race. Gollum sounds even weirder with a Brummie accent, but that's the way Tolkien intended it. Q5, which of the following bodies of water lies between the coastlines of Russia and Iran? Black Sea, Caspian Sea, Adriatic Sea. I see, I see, I see. But do you see? As the largest inland body of water in the world, it's pretty easy to spot the sea with a capital C. 
Caspian Sea is what we're talking about here. 6,138 of you doing swimmingly well, home to about 40% of the lake waters of the world. The Caspian Sea is also known for its rich oil reserves. Just don't swim in the latter, wouldn't be a good thing. Q6, which US president is the only one to hold a PhD? Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy, Woodrow Wilson. Who is the smartest of them all? What do you think, players? Three learned leaders, but who hung his PhD up in the Oval Office? Dr. Democracy himself. It was Woodrow Wilson. And would you look at that, 3,724 of you are moving on. The 28th president studied history and political science at Johns Hopkins University. But we have no historical record of anyone calling him Dr. President, even though it has a nice ring to it. Q7, pie crusts were formerly known by which of these names? Coffins, foodsteads, dough beds. It's the best part of the pie. The flaky crust, flaky and delicious. Mrs. Lovett's pies may have been literally coffins in Sweeney Todd, yuck, but nobody else would call them that, right? You're dead wrong. Coffins is your answer. 1,950 of you killed that one. Less morbid than it sounds, the word coffin just meant casing at the time. Lot of you knew that. Q8, which of these internet personalities does not have a makeup brand? Jeffree Star, Tanya Burr, Tati Westbrook. So many internet personalities, it's hard to keep up. They're all made up, but that's because they all do beauty videos on YouTube, yet to put her moniker on any makeup. It's Tati Westbrook. That's the answer we were looking for. 991 if you slayed that question. Star released his vegan makeup line in 2014, the same year that Burr launched hers through Superdrug. Q9, which Irish band performed at the end of the first episode of the Grand Tour, the cause, the script, the Hot House Flowers. That grand show, the grand tour. Top Gear 2.0 kicked off with one hell of a bang. But who wrapped up the first episode, aptly named for the desert setting, the Hot House Flowers? And it is getting hot in here. 344 of you got that one right. On this, I'm going to do it. Savage question here on Q9. 344 if you're still with us. The band is best known for their hit Don't Go. Don't go, players. While Clarkson's most famous hit got him fired from Top Gear. Q10, what's the highest number of total goals scored in a football World Cup final? Nine, seven, eight. The combined goals, the most ever scored in a World Cup final. The last few may have been low scoring affairs, but it was an absolute goal fest in 1958. Shots well and truly fired. It was lucky number seven. Seven for the win. And who got that goal? 167 of you with a nice score there. Sweden were confident that they could beat Brazil, but they got utterly pelled five to two. Q. 11, just two more questions to go, players. Which common English first name is France's most common surname? Thomas, Simon, Martin. All sound very English, but which one is also very French? Three names that work on either end of your surname, but which is France's favorite family nom? From fourth century saint to Game of Thrones author, it's Martin or Martin for the win, 125 of you nailed that. Are you ready to see your name in bright lights? Because we are moving on to the final round. 125 players left in the game, 550 pounds sterling up for grabs. What is about to happen? Two extra players using their extra lives to get back in. Good luck to all of you. Q12, what is the third rule for shipwreck survival in the life of Pi? Do not drink seawater, do not eat jellyfish, do not go swimming. The life of Pi. Your lives in this game depend on this. Stuck on a lifeboat with a tiger. Pi finds a manual for how to survive a shipwreck. The first rule, always read instructions carefully. Next up, do not drink urine, bird blood, or seawater. Lucky number three, do not 
eat jellyfish for the win here on Q12. We've got 37 winners, my lovely. <laughs> Congratulations to our 37 winners. Well done. On this Wednesday evening, you killed it. 14 pounds and 86p you are taking home. We've got Ponytail Ari, who's showing off his, his chest right there. Uh, we've got Jack Barrett, 99, with a big smile, um, hanging out with somebody, maybe that's your son. Pointy Arrows, doing the Rubik's Cube. And we've got Roy X3 as well. Well done to you guys. What are you gonna do with that cash? Maybe get yourself some pies, but not from Mrs. Lovett, I hope. That coffin crust is delicious. Eat a fried jellyfish, not. Please don't do it. But there's so much you can do with the cash. Another incredible game for the Books HQTs. You're really speaking my kind of language. I'm Shazza Carpenter. You can find me on the socials. I'm right here. Stop by and say hello. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. for another chance for you to use your wits to get your mitts on 550 pounds. So I'll see you then, lovelies. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>